So I know how tired you must be. But I'm also feeling a little proud of what we pulled off here. So now that we have a little slack, I'd like to talk about some of the pro bono work that's been brought to my attention. Please continue. I have sweets for all. When you finish. did much to maintain my spirits. Negotiations continue apace in the Netherlands. A very advanced country. I saw commercials for products and services you never see here. There was a spot with this beautiful, unapologetically nude woman standing against a scarlet sky. She was selling either perfume or apples. I'm still learning the language. But the images were compelling. Yeah, that sounds great. Traveler's Tales, Michael. Don't you want to know what's coming? I've got enough on my plate right now, Miles. Yes, you do. We have a problem. What kind of problem? This was forwarded to me in Amsterdam. By who? 
Lars Durston. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Randy Towers. What's the ancient curse? May you live in interesting times. All right, so uh, so he went to a demonstration. Yes, he went to a demonstration. Well, did he give a speech or something? Did the media get a sound bite? With... No, he just stood there in plain sight. <sighs> and what does the Durston group expect us to do? Fire him. What? They feel he no longer functions as an appropriate spokesperson. They don't want him representing their ale. What, Miles, just because he went to a peace rally? I mean, Madonna had to do more than that to get fired off Pepsi. To you, it was a peace rally. To Lars Durston and a great many other people, it was an anti-American demonstration. Right, so just like that, right? months of work, millions of dollars, it all gets scrapped because one actor had time to go to a stupid demonstration? You actually believe it's that simple? Miles, do the Durston people have any idea what this will cost them to change spokesmen? I'm not talking about just, just dollars, I'm talking about consumer confusion, uh, lost momentum, compromised brand recognition. Michael, your assessment of the cost is accurate, but you haven't looked beyond the ledger. What is lost on paper is gained in goodwill. And just how fast do they expect us to do this? They want something credible and public by the end of the week. <laughs> uh, okay, has anybody talked to Randy Towers people? No, that will be your task when the time comes. Miles, well, you know, the war's over. I mean, they're blowing this all out of proportion. Martin Durston is making a big mistake. You can tell him that tomorrow. He's coming in to talk damage fine. control right, and fine. direction. Fine, I will tell him. I wouldn't have expected you to do anything less. Uh, Michael, you're looking tired. Are you sleeping properly? <laughs> Look at that. Like a top. She'd leave me alone about this. I don't want you to get sick. I'm not sick. Right. <sighs> All right, here's the shower. is simple in comparison to the, uh, the print, the billboards, the point of purchase. We can get the commercials off the air right away. Yeah. I, this, Mr. Durston, I wonder if we could just roll this conversation back a little bit and take a look at the advisability of the whole move. 
I think any discussion of the advisability of something should have taken place with Randy Towers before this incident occurred. Mr. Towers was not an employee of DAA, Lars. He wasn't obligated to clear things with us. I understand that, Miles. I don't hold the agency responsible. I'm sure it was all his idea. I uh, I think we may be missing a point Couldn't here. We simply tell the networks to run our old commercials. Wouldn't that be one way to handle the television aspect? Yes, we could do that with a phone call. Of course, it would be preferable to have some new spots, something that reflects the decision, but I don't imagine that's possible on this short notice. Oh, we might be able to surprise you. Good. Mr. Durson, I don't think the Randy Tower spots should be pulled. I think pulling them right now would be a mistake, both tactically and morally. Morally? Yeah. Let me see. Were you ever in the service, Michael? No. Any members of your family in the armed forces? My father was. Any family on active duty right no. now? No. There are more than 3,000 men and women working for the Durston Gold Division, not including distributors, independent haulers, retail people. More than half of them have family in service. Many of them are in Desert Storm. Some of them are over there right now while we're sitting here in this nice office talking. I understand that. I'm not finished. Maybe you're one of those bosses who think they don't owe anything to the people who work for them. But I'm not. Those people deserve someone better than Randy Towers. Mr. Durston, you simply can't fire a person for having a different political opinion. The protest that Randy Towers went to is at the heart of the freedom that we were supposedly fighting for. It's his constitutional right. I think turning this into a discussion of the First Amendment rights of some Hollywood actor borders on the obscene. Randy Towers is out. I don't care what the cost is. He's out. Of course he is. The thing is said, the thing is done. Good. Michael and his team will start work on new, more appropriate spots. Fine. You should have a preliminary summary by late this afternoon. I appreciate you looking at this personally, Miles. Special situations require special attention. We'll take care of everything. Bye, Michael. Bye. You thought you could change his mind, didn't you? Oh, hell no. Yes, you did. How do you feel about this, Miles? There is a situation. We respond to the situation. We shape the situation to the client's advantage. You still haven't told me how you feel about it. Because I choose not to. It's what the client wants, all right? So we have to scramble, that's all. I, I want to hear a direction for the new, uh, new spots. Okay, how about babes and tanks passing out free stick packs to the troops? Oh, I forgot they won't even let our guys have beer. Over. Listen, I think that's out of respect for the Saudis. But we have to stop the print. Yeah, we're going to stop as much of it as we can. I can't believe you guys can't see the danger in this. This isn't politics, it's commerce. Besides, Towers voiced everybody's hands. So, what, so, so you think this is right? No, I don't think it's right. Oh, I think it's business. Things, oh. Besides, I've got a couple cousins in all today. No, no, we sell things. I understand that. What we do here is sell, right? No. Ah, uh, no. What we do is help others to sell. What? A anything? No. We help others to sell no, anything? No, of course not. Look, we don't have much of a choice right now, Angel. Ah, why don't you look at it this way? A spokesman is supposed to do a job, right? Right now, Randy, Randy Towers cannot do the job that he was Randy hired to do. He can't do it. Why, because he went to a peace rally? That's right. It was inappropriate. You know, everybody, this whole country is so... It's, Look, things will get back to normal. Yeah, yeah, and then we can start on other inappropriate behavior, like like being gay or pro-choice, or, or how about homeless? Well, don't blow that kind of smoke at me. No, I'm talking about something specific. Don't get abstract. I, I won't permit that. We have a job to do. So we're going to do the job quickly, efficiently, and at least for now, with the appearance of solidarity. All right? We'll talk philosophy later. Yes, sir. <sighs> yes. Yeah, I have to take that call. It's Randy Towers, manager. I'd like to not be here for this. Right. 
Angel, we shouldn't be fighting. You're right, we shouldn't. Hi, Karen. Yeah, it's Michael Stedman. Well, um, we have a little problem. Yeah, it's about Randy. Excuse me? Oh. Is this not really <laughs> it? Will we not eat this up with a big wooden spoon? <laughs> uh, oh, that's St. Paul, a girl can kiss my butt. Uh, right here, you got your patriotism, you got your wholesome sex, and if that's not enough, Rocket's red glare. <laughs> well, how's it hit you? Hey, I hope you should have woke me up. Yeah, you so much sleep, I didn't have the heart. Okay. Last night. Mm, don't worry about me, all right? You know, I've got this under control. For God's sake. Expert can leave this brain in the U.S. military heart during the golf Hey, Janie, put it back. <laughs> Janie, put it back to what Daddy was watching. Janie! Right away! Come on, honey, we'll go in the other room and watch the TV. Maybe you should have stayed in bed, Michael. There's nothing wrong here, Michael. Your heart looks fine. Ah, oh, you lost a couple of pounds, that's good. Blood pressure? Ah, uh, yeah, what about it? We'll keep an eye on that for a while. Yeah, it'll take a couple of days for the blood work up, but I really don't expect anything. So what do you think, maybe I pulled something, that's what's causing the pain? Do you think you pulled something? Well, no, not that I remember. Chest pain. Pressure? Yeah, it's like a, a weight, you know, constant right here. Periodic shortness of breath? Uh-huh. Mild sense of nausea? Yeah, it comes and goes. Trouble sleeping? Uh, well, you know, you need less sleep as you get older, right? Feeling sort of edgy? Anxious? No. I'm no more than anybody else these days. So, what's been happening? been happening. Yeah, I mean, what's different since the last time I saw you? What's changed in the last couple months? Oh, uh, what's changed? Oh, yeah, change, change. That's what life's all about, right? Constant change. Yeah, things don't stay the same. Things have to change. I mean, there are gains, there are losses. People go. What do you mean, people go? I mean, they go, yeah, they leave. Yeah, one way or another, people leave. Who's left lately? Um, well, somebody worked. He quit. You know, we used to be partners. And uh, somebody died. You know. A friend of mine died. What's the last time you took a couple of days off? Uh, uh, somewhere around Christmas, I guess. How about taking a couple more? Uh, okay. Bad timing, yeah. Clock sticking at work. A lot of things are coming to our heads. Kind of an ominous gesture, Doc. 
You're a white professional male, closer to 40 than 30, and you're under stress. Now do me, your wife, and yourself a favor. Throttle back. Yeah, that's easier said than done. But, uh, I'll see what I can do, okay? In the meantime, can you give me something? What kind of something? Oh, I don't know, just something to help me sleep. Uh, I think I could handle things just a little better if I slept. Only for a few nights with no refills. And I'm giving you the name and number of a therapist. A therapist? Congratulations, Michael. It's time for you to join the club. Lacks flags. Flags? We should put in flags. It's always a good idea to have flags. Yeah, one big Norman Rockwell keg. All right, but at mm -hmm. least the girl gives us continuity with the print and Cut outdoor the girl. material. Why? Oh, Miles. We've linked her visually with Tower. She has to go. Because she handed him a beer? Yes. Miles. Mm -hmm. Durston wants patriotic. Right? But there's more to patriotism than just flags. Now, we can get out ahead of all that bunting if we want to. We could do that, I suppose. But how much more beer would it sell? I want to tell you something. In honor of our service man, we're doing a special deal on this one today. In honor of the way that we did in the Persian Gulf, in honor of the way we performed and uh, how we feel about the United States, we're going to do something today that we have done in a couple things. We're going to make it special for you today. We are going to allow you to call in and get this one with free shipping and handling. That's right. You pay nothing except the price that we put on the screen plus any tax. Oh, God. You know, the thing that really bothers me is the circus, the the, the T-shirts and the bumper stickers, the Gulf War trading cards. I, I mean, everything that isn't just pro-American. I mean, anti-everybody else. I, 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 I mean, so we pulled it off, right? I mean, the girl got her hair mask. Big deal. What, what are we going to do with that? What does that mean? Now, I see a bunch of rich white guys are sitting around talking about a new world order, and I, that gives me the shakes. I mean, am I one of these white guys? Am I selling a new order? No wonder you can't sleep. <sighs> well, we ought to do something. What? I don't know. But you have to do something. I mean, no way you can't, not you. You screw up, you make mistakes. You talk yourself into things. But basically, you have a good heart. I do. Yeah, you do. Or else you'd be asleep. But you're not asleep. No, I'm not asleep. So. We're still at the picnic, but almost right away we realized that these are the people that came back from the war and how it's job well done. And now it's time for America to get back to work solving the problems here because look at us. We can do anything we set our minds to. And then uh, maybe we change the slogan to, to peace. Who deserves it more? Michael, the measure of success in this field is the Clio, not the Nobel Prize. I'm not trying to win anything here, Miles. You actually expect us to do a commercial specifically referring to the war? <sighs> Didn't your original concept refer to the war? No, mine was about patriotism. The viewer connects it with the well, war. Yeah, I have nothing to do with it. Miles, of course we're connecting it to the war. I, 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 we're selling the war. Oh, no. We're using the war. To sell. You can't be serious. When have you known me not to be serious? Remind me of this conversation next time I think I'm being paranoid. I think the two of you might want to step outside for a moment. Sit 
Sit down, Michael. You don't look at all well. I'm curious to know, Michael, just what you think this company does. On a very basic level, you seem ignorant of what you and I do for a living. Have you been sleepwalking all this time? In a trance? I don't know how else to explain your coming in here with that I'd like to buy the world a Durston concept. All right, Miles, we'll give Durston his patriotism. Full tilt, Yankee doodle, everybody's gonna feel safe and united and secure, and God bless America, man. From sea to shining sea. Mm. Which is great, because I do believe God does bless this country, but he blesses all the rest of them too, doesn't he? This conversation is appropriate. You know, all now. Manny Towers did was ask a question, Miles. So just because we won the war doesn't mean we can't ask any more questions, does it? The thing that most appalls me is your hypocrisy. My hypocrisy? Do you actually imagine there's some difference between this campaign and everything it, else It is do? different, Miles. No, it is it not. It has to be. Or what? You know what I love about this country? It's amazingly short memory. We're a nation of amnesiacs. We forget everything. Where we came from, what we did to get here. History is last week's People magazine, Michael. So don't pretend to cry for Randy Towers. No one really cared. All he did was express an opinion. He expressed an unpopular opinion. No one wants to be unpopular. That's why we're here. That's the dance of advertising. We help people become popular. Through popularity comes acceptance. Acceptance leads to assimilation. Assimilation leads to bliss. We calm and reassure. We embrace people with the message that we're all in it together, that our leaders are infallible, and that there is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong. That is what we do, is what we've always done. And under your gifted stewardship, what we will continue to do, onward toward the millennium, in return for our humanitarian service, we are made rich. I'm sorry if you misunderstood the nature of this covenant, but you've done so well up till now. I thought you knew. Bringing you here. I've waited a long time for this, Michael. 
I'd like to get off now. Oh? Yeah, I'd like to get off now. Go ahead. Okay. If you'll stop it, I'll just get off now. It never stops, Michael. I thought you knew that. You want some toast or something? No, it's okay. Okay. Hope? Yeah? What time is it? Um, 11.30. Oh, okay. Mr. Stedman? Uh -huh. I'm Rita Dumont. Nice to meet you. You wanted to talk to me? You? Me. My agency said you wanted to talk to me. Oh. Yeah, right. Um, right. Right. Um, that was a couple of days ago, wasn't it? Yesterday. Well, we, we have a problem. Uh, actually, we have another problem. Um, we're not going to be able to use any of the commercials that you did for us. We have to change the entire campaign. You know, my agency told me. Randy was very nice. He was very professional. It's a shame. Yeah, and uh, all of the uh, the billboards and uh, other things have to come down. You know, we can't use any of that material. And, um, uh, I just, I wanted to, uh, let you know that this has nothing to do with you. That's I guess it's just business. Yeah, that's right, it is. It's just business. It's just, uh, business. This isn't going to affect my work for you again, is it? Uh, no. Good. You know, it's very nice you're telling me to my face. I mean, most places would have told me over the phone. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, I can see you're a busy man, so I'll push off. Okay. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Excuse me. Can I ask you a question? I mean, you know, just since you're here. Sure. Does it bother you? Me. Doing what you do. I mean, you know these uh, these commercials and uh, billboards and things. I mean, you know, we hired you because you uh, because you 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 know you have a certain um, you you look. We didn't exactly hire you for your acting. Are you asking, am I offended that you hired me because I look good in my shorts? Right, yeah. Does that bother you? Are you all right? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with me. Why should I be offended? I mean, what makes me so sensitive? 
And this is a big operation. You must use a hundred girls like me a day, getting out of sports cars, getting into stockings. <laughs> We don't invent these commercials. We just show up and wear the clothes. You're the one who thinks them up. Yeah. I mean, we walk around in these lame fantasies of yours, showing off our workouts and our breast jobs and getting paid pretty good money. You get a lot of nerve using a line like this on me. Yeah, yeah I think I've been misunderstood. I... Yeah, I bet that happens to you a lot. Would you do me a favor and uh, give him this when he gets back? Of course. Sell the stock. Uh, it's worth more now, thanks to Miles. And we have uh, some money in the bank. So actually, we're in better shape than we were when the Michael and Elliott company collapsed. We'll be all right. I'm sorry. About what? Well, I realized in the elevator going down that I probably should have talked to you first. Oh, well, that. I thought you were apologizing for being such a jerk the past couple of weeks. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that, too. Scared? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. He uh, stopped calling, finally. I thought he was going to feel the whole needs or she did. Oh, I know. The greatest hits of Miles Jim Tell. Mm. <laughs> You're going to have to talk to him eventually. I know. I will. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Hmm. I was thinking maybe I would sleep in tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Just like that, boom, out the door, I quit. I'm impressed. You think he'd go back? I don't know. You want him to? I don't want to come that close to losing him again. So what happens now? We're going to go camping. Camping? Yeah. Can I come? Yeah. Where's the stool? I thought yeah. you had it. I'll get it. You see, that way if we go camping and I go, you can't stick Auntie Melissa with the kids. Good morning. Don't blame your wife for letting me up here. I insisted. Oh, you probably didn't insist, Miles. You probably just blew past her before she had time to stop you. I didn't want you to escape. Too late. If all this, your resignation, refusal to pick up the phone, was meant to get my undivided attention, it has succeeded. No, I don't want your attention, Miles. I think one of my problems is I've been getting too much of your attention. 
<clears throat> all right? Perhaps we've all lost perspective to one degree or another. Passions have been running rather high. I admit that, really. Now it's time to get back to work. Well, don't let me stop you. No one enjoys your gift for banter more than I, Michael, but I am in earnest. There's work to be done. I don't think you really get it, do you, Miles? I quit. Everything is negotiable, Michael. We can reevaluate the situation. Take another look at Durston. It's too late, Miles. Don't be intractable. And don't overestimate the dimensions of my patience. I've come here. I've come more than halfway. Yeah, Miles, you have. You know, and uh, that's probably my fault. I should have answered the phone. I would have saved you the drive because I'm not coming back. You're not coming back. Get used to it, Miles. Don't talk to me like that. I am gnawed by the uneasy feeling that I've been wasting my time with you. That you are smart, clever, moderately ambitious, but ultimately lacking something. You and Weston are cut from the same bolt. Neither of you has moved an inch since we first met. You play at advertising, you play at business, you play at life. What a great disappointment we must be for you. All right. All right. We'll pitch Durston the way you want. We'll simply make it work. It's over, Miles. It is not over. I will not permit it to be oh, over. Miles, it's been over for a long time. Come back. Come back no. now. Write your own ticket. This is a critical time. The company needs you. I need you. Yes, you do. And what will you do now? I don't know. Something else, something different. I don't really have any plans. You'll never find another shot like mine. You will never control the confluence of talent and resources I've placed in your hands. You've done your best work with me. You're right, Miles. But it's really not about that anymore. Sometimes you get to a point where you have to do something that's yours. It doesn't have to be the best. It doesn't even, I don't think, have to be good. But it has to be yours and nobody else's. And it has to be honest. You're a fool. yourself.